This is Susan Bradley for CSO Online. If there's one silver lining that has come out of the SolarWinds or SolarGate incident is that Microsoft and other vendors have been publishing a huge amount of security blogs and content. There's some, been some very, very helpful posts about the situation, and even if you're not directly impacted, I highly recommend that you look at these resources and review some of the guidance that they're presenting. First off, the Microsoft Resource Center, or I should say the MSRC Response Center, has put together a com complete listing of all sorts of resources and blog posts. It's kind of a one-stop shop for everything that they've been putting out regarding the attack. All sorts of information for security administrators, specific guidance, how to get help and assistance. And in particular, if you have Azure Active Directory and Microsoft 365, I recommend that you take a look at this Azure AD workbook to help you assess your SolarGate risk. And it guides you through the process of going to the Azure portal, going to Azure Active Directory, Monitoring, and Workbooks. And in the troubleshooting section, they want you to open up the sensitive operations report. Now keep in mind that if you're like me, now this is a, a demo site that I have, when I went to that same workbook section, I hadn't yet turned on Azure AD integration with Log Analytics, so I had to enable that. And it doesn't take that long to set up, but if you've never done it before, you need to do it, because obviously none of this will work. Now you do need a what's called an Azure P1 or P2 license in order to set this up because you need to monitor the Azure AD. Uh, and that's another thing that I highly recommend as well. So look into your licensing and you may need to increase it uh, in order to do some of this monitoring. Now here's a sample report for the sensitive operations. And the good thing is, is as you can see here, Nothing occurred in the last 48 hours, so thankfully I had no sensitive, um, no one trying to do any updates to service pr principle authentication methods or uh, changes to service principle authentication or applications. Bottom line, I didn't have any of the potential attacker techniques in my tenant. The first tool that has been released by the CISA a government agency and cloud forensics team, uh, and this is to help detect possible compromised accounts and applications in the Azure Microsoft 365 environment. And as you can see, it goes through and makes sure that uh, you don't have any of these issues, and you can download the PowerShell command and run it through your system. CrowdStrike is another vendor who released a free tool, and in particular, they found that uh, it was interesting that they identified a reseller's Azure account used for managing their office and licenses was observed in making abnormal calls to Microsoft Cloud APIs. There was an attempt to read email and kind of an investigation into their environment. And they released this free tool to better understand and see what was going on in their environment too. And one of the things that they pointed out is that there's a specific URL that you have to go to to see what vendors have licenses or, or rights into your system. When you go to this particular URL, you'll see the partners or relationships that you have. And you can see that I have two vendors on my, my demo site. I have two vendors that have global administrator rights into my system. So think about that. If something happens to them or attacker goes after them, they then have rights into my system as well. So you want to look for these relationships in your cloud vendors. They too have a GitHub PowerShell script that you can run on your environment. And it queries different configurations and gives you recommendations as to um, what you should do to your environment. The Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency has also put together a website recapping all of the tools and guidance that they have. So again, if you haven't been to this website, I highly recommend that you take a look at their information. And I highly re recommend you spend the time looking at these tools and running them against your environment. Um, even if you weren't directly impacted, take the time to understand what you might need to do, what, what weaknesses you have in your system, what partners you need to ask and reach out to them and say, hey, what are you doing 
to prevent this kind of attack from occurring so that you don't come in and attack me. And as always, make sure you check out the website on YouTube for the IDG Tech Talk YouTube channel. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for CSO Security Online.